this is our new milker that we bought. It's a three gallon um, milker. I bought it off Amazon. We have a big, um, it's a big Bob White system. It's a big, huge, I think it's nine or 10 gallon bucket, but we're only milking one cow right now. So I wanted to get a smaller one, especially because I wanted the girls to be able to milk when I'm not able to. So I got on Amazon and read some reviews and this one had pretty good reviews. I'll leave the link or description of the milker that I bought off Amazon. I think it was about $200. It works great. I just got in from milking, so it's still full of milk. It does have only have two teats, uh, or two teat milkers, which is fine with me. I just switch them out. So I just walked in the door, and here is the pump that runs it. I just walked in the door from milking this morning. I'm going to do a video on working the whole system, but it is so cold right now. We have several inches of snow the winds blowing I got in the barn got done and that was the end of that I will do a video here hopefully within the next week or two of actually going in hooking it up to the cow and stuff like that but I've had a few people on my um, farm page and also on a few homesteading sites that I follow ask me how easy this is to clean so I thought I will go ahead and do the cleaning video that way I can get that out for you um, other than that I like it it's um like i said it's not very expensive i paid almost i don't know i paid pretty penny for the bob white system it is made in america this is i think made in china well i'm pretty sure it is and um so that's the price difference the big one was um a couple thousand this one was 200 so other than that it works good um the cleaning is easy so let me go ahead and get the milk out of this and then I will show you how to clean so every time I come in I go ahead and unhook my pump and I put it off to the side and I go ahead and I unhook my suction tubes and I just lay them in my sink for now So now that I'm done getting all of my milk out, what I do, this is what I do here. And I always use a milk filter. I always, even though I use a bucket system or a milking system, I still use a filter. So. So I clean my counter off here, spill a little milk. this is what you're going to do. And I'm going to order another pump. That way I can leave one in my barn and then I can put one up here because you really want to have your pump near you when you clean your thing. Then I'm going to take these hoses. So they're numbered. When they come from the factory, they're numbered. But as you see, it's just paper. So it's peeling off. So I went ahead and numbered them with a Sharpie and then I just wrapped tape around them. So and then I'll just keep my eye out and you can figure out what hose is for what. And 
my cow, she is giving two gallons every morning. I'm going to go ahead and turn this hot water. She's giving two gallons every morning, so I don't really feel like sitting out there. I have been hand milking her, but it takes me quite a while to milk out two gallons. So I decided this was much easier, especially on these cold days. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to turn your pump on. And what I do first, because everybody has told me that cold milk clean, or cold water cleans milk better. So I just turn my faucet on and get it cold, nice and cold. And I just go ahead and I turn these on so that they are sucked, they are suction powered. And I just run cold milk through them. That way it cleans out that milk real good out of my tube. And this, this setup did come with a tube, a tube brush. Alright, once that's done, I go turn my faucet off. And I go ahead and I put these down in the hot water. And I swish them around so that I get some of the soap. There it goes. And as you can see, the soap's running through it. And I just make sure they get some of the soap in their line. And I just let it draw out some of this water. Nice soapy water. Once it draws out, a lot of it here, then I take and I go ahead and run hot water through it, real clean hot water. turn my pump off and I release my lines Then I release my lines from my pump so then what I do is with this holding down I take my rag and I just clean these off that way nothing gets inside Kind of just wipe my lines down and then I rinse them off real good. So then that's clean. So then I just take my rag and I just wipe my lines off. Now the thick one that goes from my milk system to here, I take and I dip it and splash it around in the water because that's the one that has the milk that goes through it and I like to make sure it's clean. And I'll take and I'll just clean it out just a little bit. I just make sure all the water's out and then I wash it off. And then I take and I hang my contraption here, whatever you want to call it. I hang it over something. Um, you can hang it over a door. You can hang it over a closet thing. Whatever you got. I have a shelf that sits back there, so I just hang it over the top. And I think the top of it's about this tall, so I just hang it over there. And then it dries. And then with this, I'm done with my pump. And I set my pump off to the side. With this, just go down in my hot water. Clean it up real good. And with this system, it also has um, this float valve. 
when it's in your bucket, if it reaches three gallons, it will shut your pump off. That way you don't fill your pump with water or your hoses that should not have milk in them. You don't fill them with water. So this, as you can see, there is nice soapy water in that. Oh, just spilled it. And I just dump it in here. And I just take and I just wash my pail out. So it's not hard. You might spend a little time cleaning it, but it's less time that you're spending out in the cold. Um, and I just wash it off. And then I wash it off with real hot water. I drain my water. And this thing, I just take my hot water out when I, I used to carry a bucket or a jug or something and, so that I can clean her teats before I milk. I just bought this little cute little thing and I just take my water out in it along with my rags. rags I cleaned her off with this morning. Yep. Since I made a mess showing you guys the soapy water in a bucket. Alright, so that's it. That is the basic cleaning of this machine. If, if you guys have a milk machine and you clean it any other way, um, Leave a comment below and tell me. I don't know. This is the first time I've had one. So I don't know if like. If any time you should clean it with like a bleach mixture. A bleach water mixture or anything like that. Um, I don't know. So it didn't say nothing in the book. But. If you guys do. Use a milk machine or. You know people that do or whatever. Um, see if they clean it any differently. That way I would know. But hopefully next week. I will be able to do a whole video of the whole milking, but as you can see, it is snowy out. There's one of the dogs, but it is snowing. The wind is blowing. Oh, there's another dog. I dumped milk over there the other day, a frozen chunk of milk and He's out there eating it, so. All right, so now you know um, what I do for my cleaning of my milk machine. So leave me any comments below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe because we've got a lot of videos coming up this spring and summer. We've got a lot of things planned for our farm. And you can always find us on fa Facebook at Randolph's Farm. Um, other than that, you guys have an awesome day, and I'm going to go in and eat some breakfast. Have a good day. Bye-bye.